This is the actress from the movie Unplanned, uh, Robia. Well, you're one of the actresses. Yeah. And uh, the film is released this weekend, right? Yeah. Uh, I want you, why don't you come with your husband and give me uh, what happened to the microphone? I just had it here. Yeah. Oh, there was one. This one? Oh, you got it. Okay, great. Yeah, listen, come and tell us about this amazing movie we all need to go see. And you that are watching on television, you are watching uh, on social media, you need to go see this movie, I'm telling you. And uh, you play the... What role do you play? I play the head of Planned Parenthood. Okay. So I, I get a lot of compliments after the movie that everyone comes up to me and says, we hated you. In the movie, In yeah. the movie. Okay. Yes. But she's a great Christian lady. Yeah, when they find out that I'm a minister, they fall off their seats because the character is not a minister. Tell the people about the movie and why they should see it. This is a for such a time as this movie. It is the true story of Abby Johnson, who was recruited from her college campus. She was a Christian girl from a pro-life family, but... Planned Parenthood was on her campus, mm -hmm. and they gave all the rhetoric that they do, you know, women's empowerment, health clinics, you know, and, and, and this girl, Abby, wanted to do something uh, purposeful with her life, so she got sucked in a bit to that, and she came and interned at the clinic, and I play her boss, the head of Planned Parenthood, who really uh, raises her up and grooms her, so she goes from an intern to, to actually being the clinic director, where she worked for eight years, and during the time she was there, she oversaw approximately 20 22,000 abortions. But she was in an administrative position. And one day, just, you know, the Lord would have it, they called her into the procedure room, and she had never been in the procedure room. And she held the wand for the ultrasound, and she saw a perfectly formed baby. So right away, she realized, oh my gosh, the idea that this is just a clump of cells is not true. And as the abortionist began to do the procedure, she saw the baby actually fighting and resisting and fighting for its life. And she said, oh my goodness, the baby is struggling to get away. And the abortionist said, they always do that. And so she stood there and looked in the, the ultrasound uh, video and she saw the baby being torn out of the womb. And it's an incredible scene. Uh, and that's the moment where she just had a revelation and God really showed her what she was a part of and she left the clinic and now she's a strong pro-life advocate. And this is just, it's a beautiful story. It's emotional, it's powerful. It's not a do documentary, it's just a real, movie, and it's for such a time as this, obviously, with what's going on in our current I'll culture. I'll tell you, my life will never be the same once we had the interview with all of you. They came, all the actresses, well, three of you came, I think, right? And some of the producers yes. came, and, mm -hmm. and uh, when I began listening, we, we did a two-hour program, and when I heard, and we, we saw clips, in fact, maybe it'll be good, Jeff, to show just one clip, <laughs> but just, just, just before we do, I was shocked when uh, your group told me, one of the gentlemen, how many abortions a day? Do you remember? I think it's 3,000 in America. 3, a day, and it was a well, million you know last year. Let me have another mic for the husband because, uh, here. And so, wor worldwide last year was, I believe, about 42 million. Now, what's, what's your involvement in the movie or with... No direct involvement in the movie. I'm just the direct involvement, right direct here. involvement <laughs> supportive husband, super dad. I, love that. I mean, this was uh, obviously such a, a, a God story, you know, uh, Robia having an entertainment background and then moving into ministry. This was a part of her life that I was not familiar with. We'd met at church, we'd started our own church and pastored that for many years. And this was something that uh, was sort of a closed door. I had no uh, eye into her, to the past. And, and tell me a little bit about Planned Parenthood, because you said, some of you guys told me, 
about it. So would you mind just repeating some of that? Well, that's what's so tremendous about this film. It really lifts the veil so people have a better understanding because most of our culture, even our Christian body of Christ culture, do not really understand who Planned Parenthood is because they've done such a great job through the media of programming us to believe what they want us to believe. Um, but the truth is, there's nothing about Planned Parenthood where you can actually plan your parenthood. <laughs> you can't go to Planned Parenthood for any type of prenatal care if you want to have a child. You can't go and hear options about abortion. When you go in, they're very particular. Uh, they do not even let you see your ultrasound because statistics show when a woman sees her ultrasound, she bonds instantly with the baby. So they're very purposeful in what they do. They're, they're not there to give choices. So the, the idea that it's about a woman's choice, when you walk into Planned Parenthood, you really don't have a choice. They're, they're purposefully putting you toward abortion. You know that doctor that... Uh, Dr. Leventino? No, one of your people was telling us how this doctor, just before the abortion took place on one lady, he said, beam me up, Scotty. I was shocked. Yes, that, that? that's how desensitized the whole industry has become. That in the movie, and this is true, it happened. Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's uh, from the book. It's so a direct just, quote. It's a direct quote. That was taken from the original woman, Abby Johnson, who wrote it in her book, that that's what the doctor would say right before the, Turning the, the, on the procedure. Machine. And, and some of these children were fully grown in the womb that are being aborted now, right? Well, now, with yeah. what's happening in our country, uh, that we, we have states that are celebrating the fact that we can abort a child all the way up to birth for any reason whatsoever. And I believe even while... And now, even after birth. And while what? And while Abby was working at the clinic, you know, the, the, they were always changing the amount of uh, weeks you could terminate a fetus. Mm -hmm. You know, they were always extending it out as scientific research would um, improve. And so it's just gone and further and further, and especially until recently, now you can abort. Now, we, we looked at how many people die per day in this country. And I don't remember the number. Maybe somebody can, can help us. Pardon? I believe abortion yeah. is the number one killer. No, a day, a day. Yeah. I don't know if that's, well, I think you're right. But but no one ignore no one pays attention to the children, uh, to the to the little babies are are actually also being killed, uh, and nobody counts that number in that number, and that's a shock. So when does it play? To this tell movie is released nationwide. It was originally going to come out in about 800 theaters, but the demand has been so great that now it's about 1,200 theaters. Wow! <laughs> I know it's incredible. And we have churches all over the country partnering with the movie and doing buyouts. So you want to go to unplanned.com and plug in your zip code and find a theater that it's playing near you. And I encourage you, if this is an important topic to you, you know, we all play a role in changing the tide of what's going on in our country, but we actually vote with our movie ticket. <laughs> Because when a movie does well, opening weekend, it gets the media's attention, even the left media that doesn't want to really report on our movie. But when a movie does really well, even they have to succumb and give it some time. Uh, Hollywood pays attention. The poli uh, p politicians pay attention. Of course they do. You know so what? Let's, let, let's just see that clip quick. And I hope you people can see them, these monitors here. So just let us know when they're, OK? Abby Johnson is in the other room. Here. Our first order of business is to present Planned Parenthood's Employee of the Year Award. Abby Johnson. There's a fire inside, you can feel this is Abby. She's our newest volunteer escort. Abby, this is Cheryl Alessandro. I'd be the youngest director in Planned Parenthood history. You'll actually be in charge of the abortions at your clinic. I have a chance to make a real difference. No matter what you do for the rest of your life, you're still going to be a baby killer. The only thing that's changed is you, Abby. Can you even hear yourself talk right now about these procedures? These are little babies. I'm not going to apologize for doing a job that helps women in crisis. There's still a part of me that isn't sure. I know. But the one thing that all experts agree on is that at this stage, the fetus can't feel anything. Sorry to bother you, but they need an extra person in the back room. Are you free? I saw it, and it was like it was twisting and fighting for its life. We commend the souls of these hundreds of children 
And Lord, we pray to end abortion. I really appreciate what you've done for us. I'll not forget it. 22,000 abortions. How do I even comprehend that? Rough day at the office. You can say that. You're making a mess. your dad and me you are our baby from the moment of conception we are paying you to be a perfect instrument of corporate policy we are an abortion provider i can't be a part of this anymore everything that they told us is a lie don't underestimate the repercussions of this you got to be careful rhonda please don't do this rhonda let me tell you what's going to happen if you walk through that door Congratulations, you have made an enemy of one of the most powerful organizations on the planet. It's numbing, really. It's... You, saw, you saw those cans, those big cans. Please tell them what's in them. Well, that's the quote-unquote waste. <laughs> that those are the babies that just bodies, hundreds of bodies. Hundreds. Uh, how, how, how many in each can? I don't know exactly, okay, but that's where they go after they make sure that they have all the parts together after they do the procedure. Then they get thrown into these cans, and then they're a waste. We need revival in this country. If uh, you think that that trailer was powerful, wait till you see the movie. It really is extraordinary. Please come out And this tell them weekend. that it's... Please go ahead. So we did receive a, an R rating which was interesting because it really should have received a PG-13 rating, but we know that there's opposition. But regardless, God's hand is so mightily on this. He's just blowing past every obstacle. <laughs> and, and they gave you R rating because? Well, uh, they gave us an R rating because the way they do that is based on a few criteria, nudity, foul language, sexuality, and violence. Unplanned has no nudity, no foul language, no sexuality. But because of the scene you just saw, when she's actually seeing the abortion happen, the Motion Picture Association did admit that abortion is a violent act. <laughs> so, but however, what we're letting, what we want everyone to understand is that in this case, do not allow the R rating to hinder you from going. For us, the R stands for recommended. The R stands for relevant. The R stands for real. This is the movie that you want your church body and congregation to see. You want your 13, 14, 15 year olds to see it because ironically, right now in our country, 13, 14, 15 year olds can go to an abortion facility and get an abortion without parental consent, but they cannot see this movie without parental consent. So parents must give consent and, and let's, let's just flood the theaters and let God do what he wants to do, which is release the truth through the media and through the airwaves and shift the tide on culture. Didn't you just feel the anointing just come in on that? Woo! It's incredible to be a, a part of this. I'm humbled. I cannot wait to see what God's going to do. You're mighty things. It's, and we are do mighty so proud of you, all of you. Thank you, Pastor. All the beautiful people that came here and... Oh, my goodness, that's precious. Can you give him a big God bless you for that? <laughs>